to the e-learning portal of GIF. Um, in this video, I would like to uh, summarize a few things for you. I have stated much earlier that no two trade forwarding contracts are the same. So what you do in the safe transport of dangerous goods by international rail transport may differ according to the contracts that you are given to deliver. The information about dangerous goods cargo would be provided by the shipper. And there are certain documents that have to be handed over to the forwarder in order to enable them to do their jobs um, in a diligent manner. Shippers will have to provide information about their consignments, if they are BG, and those documents would include the material safety data sheet, and um, they should also complete the shipper's declaration of dangerous goods, uh, which is one of the fiat forms that is, that is required um, to be completed by clients to enable forwarders deliver uh, on their contracts appropriately. Shippers have the most responsibilities in the safe transport of dangerous goods as I have outlined for you in the previous uh, videos. And I want to emphasize here that if a forwarder is hired to um, do the job of a shipper, then you would have to do exactly as prescribed by the regulation. Everything that a shipper is required to do, you, the forwarder who has um, taken the contract to deliver such service to the client would have to cover everything that the shippers does. Besides that, the forwarder has their own responsibilities you know, in the safe transport of dangerous goods. And beyond that, if a forwarder acts as a carrier or as a principal, then the forwarder would have additional responsibilities to deliver in the safe transport of dangerous goods. So let's look at the responsibilities once again. It says here that the shipper is key to the transport of DJ. They have majority of responsibilities prior to carriage. The shipper must properly recognize and identify that there are dangerous goods in their shipment. They should not hide them. They should disclose all the dangerous goods in their consignment and provide clear information on the nature of the goods and classify them, the item into one of the nine classes. This cannot be done um, by the free forwarder unless and until the shipper declares the, what the content of the shipment. And if not, the forwarder should have a know-how, should have the knowledge and skills to identify dangerous goods sometimes in order to see what the shipper fails to declare. The shipper's responsibilities include packaging the items. That's why I took you very quickly through the packaging groups. In order to do the right packaging, you need to know the UN uh, packages allowed, and then you should understand the packing groups in order to do the packaging. And you need to know the different types of labels and markings available so that you can apply the most appropriate applicable marking, which are labels and then placards. The shipper would have to complete the required documents, and most times shippers do not have the capacity to do this, so the forwarder may be hired to complete the documentation. But there are documentations that a forwarder cannot complete, like the FIATA SDT and the other documents that shippers would have to bring from vendors or suppliers and manufacturers from whom they obtain dangerous substances and articles. And shippers have to ensure that all national and international regulations have been complied with. And shippers may not know 
these regulations that will make them compliant. So this is where they hire forwarders to help them um, be compliant to you know, national uh, statutory regulations. The shipper also has to ensure their shipment is made safe for transport. It is their responsibility. If a forwarder acts as an agent, then the free forwarder's responsibility are limited. The freight forwarder as an intermediary has in general, you know, two specific main duties. The first one is to select the safe uh, mode of transport and the handling of the goods. And the second uh, duty is to advise the shipper on all the implications and requirements of the transport of goods and verify everything that the shipper does or has done should be verified by the forwarder that the shipper has followed the regulations. And here it is the RIP, Regulations on the Safe Transport of Dangerous Goods by Rail Transport. Should the forwarder physically handle the shipment, then they would assume additional responsibilities. And this will include the proper handling and storage, proper loading into wagons or loading units to transfer the items to carrier, inspection of packages every time they are handled to ensure each package is intact for transport and handling. And then the shipper, sorry, the forwarder acting, you know, as a carrier must report all incidents or accidents that may happen and following emergency procedures in the event of any incident or accident. <clears throat>